Hey everybody, back with another video. I want to show off the Cerberus base amp from Kawasa this time. I want to go over a couple key aspects of it. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. Check this out. That's what we started with. Nice, big and round. All right, let's, let's look at how we got there. The Cerberus has three different main amp types. Valve is just like a tube bass amp. FET, which is like a solid state. And Drive, which is basically like a tube with some higher gain, nice grit and distortion on it. Here you have a nice EQ section with a great low boost, got a high boost, and a, a nice graphic EQ. When you get good at these, you can kind of sculpt any kind of sound. I'll show you in just a minute. <clears throat> and down here we have the speaker cab simulator which is really nice makes a really big difference what we can do let's reset this and kind of start from scratch just solo our bass loop here I'm using a Dr. Rex bass loop just to show you guys you know I'm gonna do a second part of the video here in a minute and show a live bass and show what we do with that so check this out need that yet. We'll try to fit that in though. And the valve gives a nice snappy but round tone. I like the compressor. It tames things so you don't have too many loud transients and uh, volume differences. This contour is like a classic bass contour. It affects the mid-range a bit. Listen what it does. Now that's nice and clean right about there. Let's try to dial in some low. Leave that there for now. Here's our mid cut or boost. Let's cut it for now for a rounder sound. And like you've seen me do before with EQs, push it a bit to let your ear know where it's at. I want to peel back that higher mid right now. The highs, nice and snappy. If you need slap pop bass, that's got your back right there. The graphic EQ is great because, like I said, you can really sculpt sounds. Let's dip these mids out. Now it's round. That is a very round and nice bass sound. Give it some more. One thing I like to do is not be afraid to hit it. the input just a, a couple decibels up. You have a noise gate here, which is really nice if you're with a live bass and it's kind of noisy on the input. Even the default clicking it on will take care of, you know, most low level noise issues. This limiter is very nice because you don't want to clip when you're tracking. That'll, that'll stop you from clipping. The dry wet knob I really like because anywhere along the spectrum you can dial it right in. I'm going for you know 100% wet once again check out this dry it's really nasally that could work in certain applications but that's not what I'm after right now now down to the speaker simulator I really like it I'm actually gonna cut to my favorite settings right now the classic USA 8x10 on both of them the dynamic 112 you have different mic types here and they all have a bit different of a response this axis and distance also has an effect tonally on the bass and I kinda like them right around here it it takes away a bit of the bite from you know the attack of the string and whatnot the pan since this is bass you really don't want to mess with this too too much you know see what I'm doing there just lightly panning it to the sides it's barely doing anything but it's doing something uh, the base, you don't need to spread it left and right too much. But check this out. Peel it back because it's hitting it hard. But that is a big bass sound. Just to show you the difference between the DI and the Classic USA. 
gets more bite, you know. Mm-hmm. Where the classic USA, and let's try the California 4x10. Fatter. I really like that. And just to show the difference, here, let's go dry again. With the drums. Let's hear this. Really nasally. Really round and big. And I can even get it bigger if I want. Checking out these... Let's see uh, what we get here. Just different tones, which, depending on the job, can really you know make a big difference, especially the drive. I want to get to that when I do some live bass. So as you can see, there's quite a few components here, all in one bass unit, that make this a very nice device. It's got your back for any kind of bass sound and tone that you need. Just going through the presets is also very telling and will uh, let you know a lot about the device. Global output. You're, you're covered as far as many volume options. On the back, there's plenty of CV options. This is a great device for bass. I'm going to be right back with another part, and I'm going to track some bass, and we'll show what we do with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Be right back. Okay, I went ahead and made two bass lines, two little sections. Give us something to mess around with. Let's uh, hear what this sounds like. my original signal does not sound like the nicest bass ever let's uh, hear it again that sounds a lot nicer now now a few words again about the three different amp types the valve like I said is like a tube bass amp gives you a little bit of grit and distortion the FET is more like a clean solid state kind of like a Galeon Kruger there's not much uh, grit going on in the audio there. The drive is pretty committal. Kind of sounds a little bit Led Zeppelin y. Check this out. Back to the valve. Real nice and smooth. Now, a cool trick they can kind of do with that drive because it is a good sound in the right application is here's our second section let's hear what this sounds like now it's got these uh, two little spots in it kind of a tagline of sorts let's make that tagline spot have some grid on it. Duplicate this track. Oops. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this. Leave those and this should be, we'll change this amp type to drive. Mix it in there like that. Now when this comes around flavor for the bass. It's a little loud, but hey, this is a demo. <laughs> so that's just an idea that gives it a nice, nice drive sound. I like that a lot. So this Cerebus, uh, with its three different sections, it's noise gate, which is really nice. The limiter built in, two different EQ types. I really like that. And the speaker cabs really take it from sounding very average to big and awesome really quickly. One more time on that. So that's a very big difference. And I really like the sound that it brings. So yeah, Cerberus Bass Amp. You guys should check it out. Hope you liked the video. Have a good day.